Now, if you watch this video, then you're already aware of the absolutely abhorrent and nauseating entities that my school tried to pass off as nutritious food. These substances would have my digestive system hitting the Irish jig like a leprechaun, bro. But what I failed to mention in that video are the repugnant individuals that I shared this ghastly class period with. So to that, we'll be discussing the different types of students that you can find in your average cafeteria, as well as some of their tendencies. As for these, bro, don't worry about these, bro. Mind your beeswax. Don't, don't worry about these. My eyes are looking crazy. The pollen is up 3-1 on me, bro. But hey, we still here to put out a fire video. Comment down below the type of students you see in the cafeteria and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about the people who mix their food. I don't know what these niggas perverse fetish is with coupling food together like some type of egregious witch or something. These niggas will look at a carton of milk and some sliced apples and start combining these items like an evil scientist trying to create a poisonous elixir. It always seemed like chocolate milk and applesauce was the main base for these mixtures. These niggas deadass create the most abominable compounds with no regard for anybody sitting next to them. All I'm trying to do is enjoy my lunch and I got niggas next to me trying to fuse food together like the fucking crystal gems. This shit deadass used to be radioactive, bro. If you were to indulge in this shit, then you probably grow more arms in a fucking octopus and then they got the nerd to try to bribe me with money talking about i bet you five dollars you won't eat this shit bro nigga you damn right i'm not risking putting my stomach through more stress than a harvard student but there will always be that one outlandish nigga that will annihilate this nasty ass creation quicker than ice spice throws it back when our concerts flop now we gotta talk about the roasters now the niggas that i went to school with would deadass slam your ass harder than the human torch they come to lunch to specifically torment any and everybody in sight they would say the most heartbreaking and agonizing things these niggas have less filters than a broken coffee maker i'm not gonna lie though sitting through a roast session will make your skin thicker than denim if you're able to take jokes from these type of people then you can survive anything they'll cook your ass for the smallest things oh i know you ain't eating an apple today with your healthy ass bro i'm just trying to eat just try not to laugh too hard at any joke because then the next thing you'll hear is i know your ass ain't laughing and the entire table will turn their attention to you like a pack of fucking hyenas and there's always that one nigga that loves instigating knowing damn well he don't got no jokes talking about me personally i wouldn't let another man say that to me they love escalating the situations every time but there would always be that one nigga that takes shit personal and tries to solo squad the entire fucking table like batman or something now we gotta talk about the debaters these niggas don't come to lunch to eat they come to argue with everybody i'm pretty sure we've all been in lunch debates more heated than car seats in the summer these niggas were debating everything lebron versus jordan messi versus ronaldo english versus math drake versus kanye it didn't matter if there were two topics these niggas were arguing about it and this shit lasts for the entire fucking period i've witnessed people arguing about the dumbest shit these niggas were even arguing about who gets more hoes they was really treating lunch like it was the damn presidential debate like these niggas were really fighting for their fucking life i'm talking about a claim with three pieces of evidence bro they dad started fighting for their life like r kelly now we gotta talk about the couple there was always that cringy ass couple that did the absolute fucking most during lunch like the guy would be holding his girlfriend like a fucking newborn baby over there rubbing each other like they're trying to get a genie to come out and grant three wishes they always were reciting the most distressing and unsettling phrases that ever hit my audio receptors i love you my snuffleupagus i love you more my sweet cheeks it's us against the world my sweet kid my nigga if i had to listen to that sinister chatting for any longer i'm a rsvp to betty white's birthday party these niggas make my stomach turn more than a fucking laundry machine seeing this horrific scenery is more revolting than the school lunch itself they treat the cafeteria like instead of one of those dolce and gabbana commercials and not to mention they be feeding each other like some type of corrupt cleopatra impression there is no need to be fucking caressing each other bro i don't get how this shit gets past the teachers watching but if i'm standing up they'll get on my ass like why don't rice now we gotta talk about the kid who eats hella food these gluttonous niggas inhale the fuck out of these trays of food, bruh. I never thought I'd see the day where someone does a fucking mukbang with school lunch. They deadass go around from person to person talking about, Hey, are you gonna eat that, bro? My nigga, you've already eaten the entire fucking supply of food. And it's crazy because these are always the people who swear that the food is nasty. Always talking about how school lunch is even good. Fast forward 10 minutes later and they're treating the food like zombies treat human flesh. I know their stomachs are going through hell, bro. Their toilet is gonna be fighting for its fucking life. The things that are going to go down in that bathroom later are gonna be unspeakable. These niggas deadass treat school lunch like a fucking buffet. All you can eat type shit. They fucking inhaled this shit, bro. Now they got 15 trays on the table and got this shit looking like an episode of Hoarders. Now we gotta talk about the people who throw food. Now I'm not gonna lie, I used to think that food fights were just a myth like Bigfoot or something, bro. I used to think that food fights were just a thing that were in corny ass movies. I thought that these scenarios were rarer than a holographic Charizard, but this shit was real. However, they never initiated from someone yelling, food fight! If someone ever did that, they would get stared at like an absolute buffoon. But it usually started because one of these deficient ass niggas would throw something at somebody, and that person would retaliate. And now the cafeteria turns to the War of 18. 12. Niggas launching meatballs like a catapult and throwing them hard ass breadsticks. Them shits were like spears and they connected with niggas' bodies. If I was the gender, I would have put in my two weeks right then and there. Now we gotta talk about people who bring their own lunch. Now there are two variants of this specific archetype. First are the people who bring a homemade lunch. These niggas always bought the most enticing food from their house. Their sandwiches be more perfectly cut than Paul George's hairline. Not to mention they have more snacks in a fucking corner store. Now the other variant of these students are the ones who bring fast food for lunch. You know, the kid who comes back from the doctor's appointment or something and their mama buys them McDonald's. Now I would have a problem with with these niggas but they used to talk the most shit how's your sloppy joe because these mcnuggets are busting my nigga don't nobody want them nuggets that are filled with jigglypuff skin they really used to try 
and talk down on us like we were peasants. I don't know why we thought eating McDonald's was so cool when in reality that shit that the lunch ladies were serving is probably like 5 star dining compared to McDonald's. Now we gotta talk about the loud kids. These are probably the worst type of people at lunch by far. These niggas treat the cafeteria like a fucking concert. They have to be on drugs stronger than Giannis. Like why the fuck are you screaming at the top of your lungs? And then they cause the rest of the students to raise their voices too causing the most deafening chain reaction ever. Now the cafeteria is louder than the Netflix startup sound. Just a whole bunch of reckless nonsense bro. There were dead ass people yelling from across the opposite side of the cafeteria sounding like fucking Playboy Cardi at one of his shows. If you ever find yourself sitting next to one of these rambunctious individuals then you better just divorce your ear from your head. These niggas were always giving me migraines and have my head feeling like an Alex Van Halen drum session. Now we gotta talk about the beggars. This is probably a close second for the worst types of students at lunch bro. Where do you know about the niggas that ask for gum or food in class? But these greedy motherfuckers can also be found in the cafeteria. Like these niggas will dash try and tell me a sad ass backstory and try to guilt trip me into giving them my apple slices. They stay asking niggas for food or even worse than they ask me for my money like a fucking charity bro. Talking about bro you got an extra dollar gang? My nigga I'm not an ATM. Like no bro I would not like to donate a dollar to the broke nigga society. But if these niggas get desperate they'll just plunder that shit straight off your plate like Robin Hood. Now we gotta talk about the freestylers. Now I'm not gonna lie, besides the roast sessions, this is probably the most fun shit to do at lunch. All you gotta do is throw in some generic ass Cardi B type beat, Lil Baby type beat, and get to spinning like a llama. Or we have the niggas that would make a beat with their pants like they're playing a timpani or something. And it's always the most unsuspecting niggas that would have the hardest bars. Like they come to the table looking like Clyde McBride, but freestyle like Juice World in his fucking prime. And we already know about the niggas that take this shit way too serious though. They think they're gonna get signed by 4PF or something. Now I'm pretty sure we already know about the niggas that always pull out the sus lyrics and make the whole crowd disperse like a flock of birds. Now we gotta talk about the kids who sit alone. Now if I'm being honest, I feel like these niggas get a lot of unnecessary hate. I personally don't see anything wrong with sitting alone. I just wonder what be going through their heads though. But the niggas that sat alone in my high school were the most unearthly beings I ever encountered. They would put their fingers so far up their nose you would've thought they were taking a built-in COVID test. And then proceed to eat their food like there isn't an entire cesspool of germs hitting the dosy dough on their hands. Now we gotta talk about the nerds. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen that group of kids who do their homework during lunch. And it's not the homework that's due that day, it's the homework for the next fucking week. And then they wonder why their homework has more stains than the walls of a crack house. But who wants to spend our one hour of freedom doing what we're forced to do for eight hours a day? These niggas be bonding over schoolwork like some type of twisted cult. They deadass be in the cafeteria crunching numbers like they're a member of the fucking cyber squad or something. Like how far ahead do you want to be? These niggas be doing work like they're getting paid for it. But at the same time I can't really knock them try hard ass motherfuckers for being on their grind. But. I think that's gonna cover everything for this video, man. Comment down below what you wanna see next. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe if you're new. Join the fam. We going crazy over here, man. 2023 takeover is still in effect. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be going crazy. We, the, these videos gonna be dropping, bro. These videos are gonna be dropping. Stay tuned for some heat. Don't like I said, don't 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 mind these. Hopefully this didn't take too much away from the video. Um, your boy is going through it. I'm half blind right now. Um, I woke up, bro. Both my eyes were closed shut. I thought I went blind. And now y'all see why I ranked spring last in my previous video. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for watching. I'm G Grimy. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.